Well, I think the the coverage, including your paper's coverage of the UNC case, went on for a long time, obviously, and very uh, explicitly described the, the facts. And, and so when there wasn't any immediate punishment, most people, I think, found that um, unexpected and even implausible. So it, it just went in the, flew in the face of the opinions that people had already formed. Uh, their, their course were folks who thought it was perfectly appropriate and those who thought it, was, it, it wasn't. Um, look, this is not what people tend to think it is. It isn't uh, a group of staffers sitting in an office making a decision. It's, it's in essence a, a judgment by a group of peers. And that, um, that committee that heard that case included uh, the you know, commissioner of the SEC, uh, co-chair of the Knight Commission, and a former attorney general of the United States. It was an enormously well thought, thought out and respected group of individuals who reached a, uh, a conclusion that, that, uh, that the facts didn't, didn't warrant punishment. And so they, we, you can agree or disagree, but that's where the, essentially the jury of the peers wound up. When a 